is our cat our, our catfish. No, he is our fish. I'm not even sure what kind of fish he is. That is a little bitty saltwater fish tank. We used to have a great big saltwater fish tank. And it was nice and, and, and it looked good. And over time, we just lost interest in it. And little by little, the fish, you know, as it got old, would die off. And we just never put new fish in it. And we just, we just were done with the whole saltwater thing. Saltwater tanks are nice, they're just a lot of work. And SCAT, which stands for Scaredy Cat, because he always would go hide, is the only surviving fish, and he was one of the, well, the very first fish we ever had in that saltwater tank. And so since he was the only one left, instead of having this great big, huge saltwater tank, we decided to put him in a little bitty one, which he is in, and he seems very much happy. And and he's a survivor. He's He was the scaredest, fish in the tank and he hid all the time you hardly ever seen him and I, I got him out of there and put him in this little one and he's he's doing great he's doing awesome and yeah that's it's kind of cool at my birthday it is officially this girl's birthday officially she is 11 years old today as she would call it 11 teen are you you're eating cookie cake for breakfast it is Tuesday morning and the dogs have had their breakfast. I think Chunky's finished. He has finished. Every morning the cat tries to join Chunky in his bowl of breakfast. Every morning the cat like sticks his paw in there and pulls out a piece onto the floor and eats it. And the and it's adorable, but Chunky don't think it's so adorable. And then he pukes. Chunky, the cat, yeah, and then the, the food makes the cat sick, so I don't even know why the cat eats it. I don't know. Alrighty guys, dogs have had their breakfast. It is time for us humans to have our, and the fish has had his breakfast, or her breakfast. I'm not sure what the fish is, but it has eaten. And now it's time for us humans to eat our breakfast. I will see you. And then, oh, one more thing. <laughs> you gotta check out my Snapchat. My kids, I think my son did this. And it's a private page, so I can't even link it. But they have started a Facebook page for my Snapchats, and and it's not even it's not even like my actual Snapchat because I always do video Snapchats. But they do screenshots off my Snapchats, and they're posting them on this Facebook page. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny. Alrighty, I'm going to fix breakfast and some coffee, and I will see you guys in the next clip. Do some drone flying and take my, me to my sisters and take her to her sisters because oh hello we're back because um she wants to spend uh her birthday with her oldest sister and they're gonna go do stuff and have fun and it's her birthday day official day of and her what's birth cool is that there's a music bleep that says it's my birthday i can steal what i want to and then he says hey there's my car and he said oh it's okay it's my birthday um, no, you don't steal on your birthday. Anyway, so um, she's going to go to her sister's. I'm going to go get some drone footage. Um, I had to get the drone calibrated properly because when I shot my pool footage, which this was stupid, and I don't recommend this, so so a piece of advice, don't, don't ever do this, but I will explain. Hold on a sec. 
I'm gonna get up here and explain. Because <laughs> I can't I can't focus on I, I, I multitask all the time, but it's not easy. Alright. So here here's what happened. When I got her her birthday party pool pool party footage and I was flying over the pool, I did not have the drone calibrated. It was not calibrated. So it didn't know its GPS location. It didn't know none of that stuff. I was pretty much, I had, I had FPV. So I was, I was, you know, I, I had, I had a visual of what was going on, but anything could happen, <laughs> but I wanted that footage. But I was next to a big building. You're never supposed to calibrate your drone, especially the unique Typhoon G next to a building. You're supposed to calibrate it out in the open so you can, so you can get it, uh, um, you, you can get the satellites and, and you can get the, uh, and you're supposed to put it true north. There's a few steps you got to go through to calibrate this thing. I went through all them steps, but I kept losing GPS signal and can I could not. Record? I did record. I could not get it calibrated. So I just flew it anyway. And I'm, I was flying over water. I was flying over a pool, but I just flew it anyway because I, I, I wanted to get the footage and, and uh, so I'd never do that. That's, that's a terrible idea, but I just now recalibrated it by my house, um, out by the road, no problems. Calibrated perfectly. It was the location, and they and they and I knew that, and I knew that's why I was struggling. But I had no other choice. I had to get it, I had to get it up in the air, and that's why. Okay, I'm very careful <laughs> with this drone, and I'm very particular about this drone. I'm really trying to take care of this drone. But these things are why my other drone is in the shape it's in because I just wanted to get up in the air. I'm cooking over here. Sorry, we gotta go. She's about to melt. She's setting right in the sun. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna get some drone footage. What time is it? It is 9.45 and Lexi wants me to come over now. Right now? Yeah. Looks like I'm dropping her off right now. I'm going to get drone footage all by myself. Stop okay. it. I don't mind being alone. <laughs> Shut up. I, I don't care. I mean, I you know, it's your birthday. You can go hang out with your sisters. I'm fine with that. I don't mind. Stop. Just kidding. my phone. It's because you're on it all the time. Yeah, your phone. You could cook an egg on her phone. I really could. It like just burnt my cheek. Her, her phone. She, she's always on it. I mean, she, her thumb is constantly moving. I think her thumb probably does this in her sleep. This is sad. Okay, so I charged my phone and it was at 100%. And by 10 o'clock, it was at 20 and, and you charged the phone overnight? Yeah. And so, well, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. No, it was like yesterday. Oh, by 10 o'clock. So, she charged the phone overnight. She gets up around, what, 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. In four hours, her phone was almost dead. That is that is today's kids. Me and my wife was talking this morning. She was talking to one of her managers, and she told her manager to make a, a you know, a, to document, to write down, to make a paper document of, of an incident that happened. And he was like, can you explain that to me? And it's like, but it's no joke. And he's a young guy. So it's no joke. It's like 2016. Nobody makes paper documents of anything. It's all digital. No, it's like like a, a pen and paper is almost obsolete. It's getting crazy out there. Anyway, I'm going to drop her off. Go get some drone footage. I will see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> Bye. my daughter again because she hates it when I vlog especially when she's around so. oh <laughs> I just I just had to do it because <laughs> you hate it so much and I had to see Gizmo like cookies Gizmo don't run come back come back come back Gizmo come here Giz come here come here buddy Oh, look at this kitty. Look at that kitty. Gizmo, Gizmo is my grandson. My grandson's a little hairy, but he's cute. Look at that face. I'm back. I'm sorry. You're sweaty. I'm not that sweaty. All right, have fun, kid. Your I will see. Gone. Oh, funny. <laughs> I will see. <laughs> I'll see you later. Hey, <laughs> bye. Okay. See you guys in the sky.
as I said before, today is Emily's birthday. And, uh, I mean, this is, this is a great day for her because birthdays are exciting. I mean, she's already celebrated her birthday. She had her pool party and things like that. But birthdays are exciting because people kind of make a big deal out of it. People, you know, happy birthday to you all the time, saying happy birthday to you and, and paying more attention to you. Not that she don't get loads of attention paid to her because between myself, her mother, and her siblings, dear Lord, this kid. But she she gets that kind of attention because she deserves it. She's so fun to be around. And she's so easy to love. And I don't know if that sounds bad, but she just is. She's that kid. She's happy. She's caring, she's forgiving, she tries her best to excel at everything she does, whether it's school or, or whether it's whatever she dives into, she wants to do the best at. She's a good-hearted kid. She's a funny kid. She's hilarious, and she's just great to be around. And, um, and, uh, you know, we kind of make a big deal out of her birthday. And, and we did about all, out of all of our kids' birthdays, we made a big deal because it's something to be celebrated. My wife and I feel truly, truly blessed to have these kids and all of them, all four of them, doing fantastic and, and, and doing their best and, and moving forward in life. And just we couldn't be more proud of every single one of our children. But it's Emily's birthday, and she's 11. It's not going to be long until she's on her way out the door doing, doing life on her own. And I can't imagine that. It blows my mind with my three older ones. They're already out doing their own things. That's crazy. So I wanted to put together just a little bit of something for Emily on this day, Tuesday. It is her birthday. And uh, like I said, it deserves to be celebrated. So check out this little snippet and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> it brings back all those memories. I'm watching this kid grow up, and uh, it just it it uh, it makes me happy to see her as she gets older and older, and more independent and more just more awesome. There's a little bit of sadness there because they grow up, but I've been through this three other times. <laughs> It doesn't ever get any easier, I'll tell you that. It does not ever get any easier as I start to grow up. But it's fun to watch that. And it's fun to play a part of that. And it's just fun to be a dad. And it's just fun to be in their lives. My kids are pretty incredible. And Emily, I love you so very much. Happy birthday, kiddo.
it's uh, getting a little warm out here. It's really not bad though. It's like there's a nice cool breeze, but can't get used to that humidity, man. Just can't get used to that humidity. It is lunchtime. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do for lunch. Not sure if I can find a freaking house key. All these keys, all these stupid keys. And I've even reduced this down to this. I used to have so many keys on there, I don't even remember what some of them went to. And then when I start searching for the house key, I need to get them little, them little key covers and color code them like I do with my golf cart key. Um, Cause when I start searching for keys, I can't find them. Oh yeah. I tell him time and time and time again, don't lay in my chair. And he does it, and then he ignores me. He's acting like he's sleeping. He's not really sleeping, I know. Uh, for one, when I walked in, he looked at me. But now, all of a sudden, miraculously, he's asleep and can't hear me to tell him to get out of my chair. He's a child. He's like a child. <sighs> it is lunchtime, and I will see you guys in the next clip. I definitely... <laughs> Emily's not going to be around much today. It is her, her kind of her birthday day vlog and 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 she's not really going to be around a whole lot so the next clip i'm going to try to get of when emily's home and maybe i don't know she, she'll probably hang out with her siblings all day because i don't think either one of them are working today anyway guys i'm going to do lunch i'll see you in the next clip lunch is over i just had some hot dogs i had two hot dogs and some yogurt and a monster um the my video a uh, small town boy from Feb February Illinois was a video I put out I think it went up Friday that video went over very very well um, locally people loved it I had people commenting on it I had people locally telling me how much they liked it and how much they enjoyed it and um, I made that video, I mean, over time I gathered loads of footage, whether it was with my um, my Canon SX50 or my drone using the GoPro or even cell phone footage. Just over time I was compiling all this footage to put together this little project for my hometown. And doing that, there was a lot of things that I left out about my hometown. It's hard to cover it all in one small video. So what I'm going to do, and since that did so well, that video did so well, there's loads of areas around here that I want to incorporate in my small town video. So I'm starting on another project. For one, it gives me something to work on and gives me reasons to fly my drone. For two, I, I am... I am really loving the fact that I'm diving into the first of all the history of my little hometown and then just and then just paying attention to everything else. So I'm going to work on part two of that or episode two or or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to go into because there's loads of other places that have been around for a long time and loads of other places that are a complete asset to our community that I want to include in the second video. So that's what I'm working on. I am working on part two of a small town boy from February, Illinois. So you can see all the other stuff. We have farms here that that do some really cool things um, and just other businesses and things that have been around for a long time and a lot of events coming up with our local fair and um, with, uh, with with other events coming up and race, and there, there's some there's some um, local foot races, 5Ks coming up. But these are things that I want to get footage of as well to be able to incorporate in another video. So I'm going to do that. Um, this is Emily's birthday sort of vlog. This is Emily's birthday, but she is hanging out with her sister and she's having loads of fun. Her her oldest sister now is taking her out for lunch, and and she just took her swimming and. Unfortunately, she's not going to be in much of the vlog today. You seen her this morning, and um, and she's not going to be back home until she's having a friend spend the night with her for her birthday, and she won't be back home until then. So, with that said, I am going to end the vlog today, right now, and I'm going to go out and get some footage, um, and then uh, I'm not sure when that video will be out. It, it's going to be a little while because well yeah it's going to be a little while because not until next month the end of next month 
is when um, our our local carnival, our local fair comes to town. Um, this weekend I'm going to capture an event and then, um, what is it? Oh, and then um, close to the fair starting is that race. And there's other events going on in our community that I want to capture. Plus, there's events that happen all year that I want to get capture footage of. So episode two or part two of a small town boy from Fairbury, Illinois is going to continue into part three and probably part four as we go through the seasons of all things that go on. Our Christmas parade and all this stuff I want to capture and put into a video for this. So <clears throat> there you have it. That's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going out to get some footage of different places now and I'm going to cap the vlog. So, um, and that bird. That bird is loud. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of My Daily Vlog. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Go check out yesterday's video. It was awesome. Um, it was um, um, the one up box unboxing using the drone and, and another camera. Go check it out. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. I love you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.